I think I'm, I'm just like, I'm a fan, you know. Um, I choose the models, whether they're famous or not. I'm a big fan of the person, and so it's fan art, and it's also fan art in relation to people that you admire. It's a, they sort of seem to, it's a sort of like, they seem to, they make me feel like I've, I, I make up for my own inadequacies by getting them to participate in these worlds. Yeah, it's about love, really. Yeah. Well, I've always loved mythology, you know, and mythology, religious iconography, mythology. I remember as a kid being at church and there's the icons and then there's the church itself which is usually some architectural marvel. When I went overseas I came back feeling as though yeah I had to get better. <laughs> I had to get better. I don't want assistance, you know, I want to make it myself. No one can quite, there are nuances, you know, like you don't see in reproductions of my work. It's hard to see. I'm all about all those small details, not necessarily, oh look, look, the detail of the hair on the arm, not that, but just um, colours and surfaces. Trying to put together something that you know, it's literal, but then you see the thing is, is that it, it gets people off scot-free if they think they understand something, but actually you have to look harder when there's something there that, that you think you understand, because the world's more complicated than that, and people are more complicated. The joy comes when, when, you, when you feel like you, you've, um, manage to sort of figure out colours and compositions and ideas and into a, into a sort of, um, you know, lyrical form in the way in which I work, which is quite hard-edged. So it's, I'm always struggling to get something um, unreal. Um, from something that's quite realistic looking. I'm not trying to make things more realistic. I'm trying to make them more abstract <laughs> through, through um, not, not, not so much visually, but your experience of it, your experience of, of the work to be, you know, kind of confusing, kind of um, uh, emotional. Mm.